All right, in today's video, we're gonna be inside a go high level going over websites, changing a lot of the basic information to your own branding, how to do certain things. And later on in the video, I'm gonna show you a few tricks when it comes to go high level that you may not already know. We're gonna create a new website, template library, and we have infinite options to scroll through. I wanna do a beauty studio, no chiropractor. Yeah, let's do chiropractor because that's kind of practical for a lot of people these days in the SMMA and SAS world. So here we go, let's load up this template. All you gotta do is go to edit and then click edit page and then we'll be brought to the website editor. Here we go, there's the entire template guys. I love how it's already filled in with the information we gotta put, obviously it's default. Obviously it's default information which you change later on but it's just that plug and play that easy to use. All you gotta do is change some of the imaging, some of the text, the copy to your own branding and that's really it. This is the entire website itself Look at that. If your client already has a lot of staff, all you gotta do is just literally change the pictures here. And how would you go about changing these pictures? All you gotta do is click on the picture you wanna change and then you just scroll down here and then you're gonna see the word image and under image options. So this is the current image right here. All you gotta do is click on here. All you gotta do is go to upload file. All you gotta do is load up a picture. I, I don't know why I had this picture saved, but I have it saved on my computer for some reason. Obviously, you're gonna wanna pick pictures that are the same dimensions. So if I really was going to take this seriously, um, I would resize this image so it's equal on all sides, like four by four or whatever. But guys, this is also how you change the picture size. If I wanted to go ahead and make it smaller, if I wanna go ahead and make it bigger, all I gotta do is change the width size. You don't wanna change both because what's gonna happen is you're gonna wind up stretching the image like I just showed you right now. You only wanna change one of these. I preferably only like to change the width because that's just what I have as a habit. Honestly, I never change the height. But now it actually looks a little bit <laughs> more um, fitting. <laughs> Robert Davis is gonna be Mr. Incredible with that 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 meme. I, I don't know why I had to say it to be honest, that was funny. But that's how you change the pictures. You guys can go ahead and do this for all these. The image URL is always gonna say assets.cnd whatever. I mean, even for the picture I just uploaded, like that's not the original file like name. Uh, but that's what it defaults to, I guess, when you go upload it to go high level. And now down here, we, it looks like we have a button. It says schedule an appointment. So let's go ahead and click the button. And yeah, it is a button here. Now, icons, we don't need any icons. We could, we could always add something like this. Uh, and then even afterwards, if we wanna make a pop a little bit more, I added two little circles here, as you guys can see. That's how you just change some of the, the customization. As you guys can see, it says button actions and link to and then website. So. It's not linked to anything because it is just a template. So these are all the options you can actually do and have the button set to do. And this could bring you to a different website, maybe the Calendly for a booking page, or you could just integrate Calendly's calendar <laughs> into the website. I know that sounds kind of weird, but you could do that as well. Depends on the niche, you know, something like a chiropractor that actually would make sense. And for this example, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna insert a new column. Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm gonna go ahead and add a calendar and see uh, what options we got. So select your calendar. Let's go ahead and click on appointment calendar. So there we go. This is, you know, real, real plug and play real quick. Just in a few seconds there, I went ahead and linked this calendar. And some of you guys may not have that drop down menu when you go to, you know, click on calendar. And you can get access to this actually with within downloading my snapshot. And my snapshot is actually inside of my free course. I don't I'm not selling you anything for there's nothing up front for to get access to it. All you gotta do is just join the course. But that's one of the cool features I wanted to show you guys as well as button actions. You can even redirect from clicking select a date and then go to a different site if you wanted to do that for whatever reason. But like I just said, you can link it to go to a different website and maybe there you can be like, oh, I can upsell um, three sessions for a cheaper price or have a, a different funnel for maybe maybe five sessions up front for like a 50, no, that's probably too much, like a 40% discount. Like you could do, it, it, the possibilities are endless how you guys can navigate this for your clients. But um, yeah, it's just really that plug and play, that straightforward for adding a calendar as we can see as well as changing the images and you know this is a form as well we we love forms i love forms that's uh, i've made videos on them in the past i'll probably pop a card up here for you guys uh, if you haven't seen that video go ahead and check it out i show you how to do all of it for those of you guys watching now that haven't seen that or don't know how to edit forms we can't actually edit this form within the website editor itself what's cool about go high level is it's actually separate and then you can build forms and edit forms uh, you know build it from scratch or just edit pre-existing ones 
within the form builder, uh, it's pretty much under the same tab that we started under. It'll say forms and then it'll be a drop down menu and you click on builder. And then that's where you would find this and edit it. But say for example, for this video, we wanna go ahead and create a pop-up form. So when someone ever loads up the chiropractor website here, there's a form that automatically pops up. Well, all we gotta do is go to click pop-up and then we wanna click add row, one column, click add element. And then I'm gonna search for form. And then I'm gonna add the, I'm just gonna say, book me form questions. I'm just gonna, I don't even know what form this is. So this is just, this is the default go high level form. That's basically how you integrate a form into your website as well as having a pop up immediately when someone views your website. I'm gonna go test it out and see, I'm gonna click save and then we're gonna go ahead and click preview and see whether or not this form shows up like automatically like I want it to. There we go. And there's a form. Of course, when you're creating a form, you're gonna to wanna to have text here. I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick as well. Well, actually, you have to do that inside the form builder. That's not what this video is. I already made a video on that before, and I don't wanna make this video too long. This is a very good way of how you're gonna be able to capture leads as well, because a lot of local businesses really don't have these kinds of things enabled, uh, especially automatic pop-up forms or forms in general like that outside of just booking appointments and having calendars, you know? For text, for example, we would do the offer like, book now and receive two two appointments at like 20% off, 25% off. So that would entice them to enter their information here and then submit. And you guys can change whatever, whatever custom values you wanna have here, whether it's just their full name, email, and phone number, or have a little bit more. Maybe in the form you would change this to being like, um, what problems are you having or what kind of pain are you having or what kind of discomfort are you having? You know, it depends on the niche you're in, of course. And then of course, right here, we have the infamous uh, <laughs> picture change and then the integrated calendar here, as you guys can see. And 10 p.m., 12 p.m., let's collect select date. And then they go ahead and enter this information here. And then they would click book appointment. And then you guys would have an automation to immediately text them a follow-up text and follow-up email, thanking them and confirming their appointment and anything else you guys wanna do. So that's gonna wrap this video up. I wanted to keep it short and sweet, how to do a lot of the editing within Go High Level when it comes to websites uh, and show you guys some of the little stuff, some of the little tricks, how to import calendars and cool stuff like that. And once again, to get forms, you know, we're here pretty much at, under the sites tab. You go to forms and go to builder and then you go ahead and create your form. So guys, that's gonna wrap this one up today. I hope you enjoyed, learned something new and I'll see you in the next one.